How's it going to for us? My name is Jack and welcome to my reaction video to Sheffield United 1, Nottingham Forest 1 that I've just finished at Bramall Lane. So yeah, a 95th minute Ryan Yates equaliser was enough to get the uh, get the um the point here. And um I think you've got to take the result really. You gotta look at it in in, in in the fact that they haven't conceded a goal, let alone lost a game. They haven't conceded a goal at home since, I think it was the day before Halloween, so to be the first team to do that uh, under you know the, the reign of Paul Heggenbottom, to be the, the first um, team to go there and score this year, obviously for, for, for a good number of months now, it, it, you know, it's huge, it's huge. And I think you probably look at the game and you, you'd probably say we deserve to win that one, but I think you take the, the point definitely, um, I think... Going to Bramall Lane, it's a tough place to go, and I think you know you gotta you gotta take that point, and um, you you'll be really happy with that, and um, yeah, I think yeah, I think you, I think I think you gotta be chuffed with the uh, with the point there for that one, but um, I don't know, I, I do kind of feel like we did deserve to win the game first half. It was kind of end to end, both sides kind of um, having the chances, but I think um, I think you know. Um, we probably edged it a little bit. First half, we should have had a penalty when Davis was brought down. Well, he wasn't brought down, but he had his shirt almost pulled off by the youngster. I can't remember his name, like Siriki or something like that. Um, there was um, obviously the penalty we did get when when Spence was tripped in the box. And, um, you know, Brennan, I do feel a bit sorry for him. I think that if the keeper dives, it's a, it's a good penalty. Um, he didn't dive and he didn't really make it sort of look to uh, disguise, I guess you could say, and, and, and fair play to Fodringham, did his homework and made the save. But, you know, we stuck, we stuck with it. Even when we went a goal down, we stuck with it. Went attacking, took uh, McKenna off and brought on... Um, Surridge and went to up top Surridge and Davis and, and really put in a, a shift um, the two of them I think Davis got man of the match and deserved it I think um, Surridge came on and was pressing everything he was running at everyone forcing the keeper to make quick decisions and stuff like that when they had the ball at his feet um, and then you know Yates obviously got his goal um, but yeah I, th I think I think I think you take the point pardon me I think it, it feels a bit disappointing because we know how big three points would have been to us, but I think you take the point um, and you definitely move on um, because, I, I, like I say, to be the first team in so many months to to beat to score against them at home um, is is huge achievement and, and something you got to be you got to be pleased with. Um, but yeah, I mean their goal it was vintage Billy Sharp really in the box got his header away not much that Horvath could do talking about Horvath I think he had a really really good game there were sort of question marks over the ability with the ball at his feet and those question marks still exist um, they're still over his, his ability with the ball at his feet I think I was at the Middlesbrough game where he made the awful error um, then today there were, there were some points within the game where maybe someone like Samba would have been a little bit more composed with the ball at his feet, made a bit of a better um, decision. But overall, I think it was it was it was okay with his feet today, and made some really big saves, really big saves um, to keep the score at, at one 0 He made some massive stops um, to to deny their their attackers' chances. Um, I think there was a corner where he made like two two saves in the space of you know 20 seconds or something like that it was it was massive and um yeah he's done really really well um Horvath over the three games that he's been in goal for two clean sheets and just the one goal conceded I think you've got to be really pleased with that if you're Steve Cooper um whether Sam will start straight back in I don't know I'd like to see probably Sam go back in because I do think he's just that little bit better than Horvath at the moment and he's a bit more um reliable with the ball at his feet even though he can be extremely erratic sometimes but I would probably put him back in but I think I think you've got to um Wait up and, and see which sort of um, you know, who's impressed Cooper more that that kind of thing, but yeah, um, I'll go through the, I'll go through the uh, the lineups today, the the team that we uh, played, and I'll um, I'll sort of say um, each player, kind of uh, what I thought of the uh, of their performance. We just get it up here, Nottingham Forest, uh, scores and fixtures, that one, and then we go. All the way to 
Right, so in goal, Horvath, just touched on him briefly, I think. Um, if I had to give him a score out of 10, I'd probably say 7. Not too much he could have done for their goal, um, but other than that, made some huge saves, and I think he was really, really impressive. Worrell, 7 again, I think he was really, really good. I think the back three defended really well um, for the large majority of the game. Uh, Cook, 8, I think he was exceptional. Um you know, everything that he needed to do, he did it well. And he was just, you know, a real colossus at the back. His his um his experience was huge in the back today and it was really, really, you know, just a really strong performance from him. McKenna, he was taken off, I'd probably say six point five for McKenna. Wasn't too bad. Um didn't really see too much of him, didn't really put too much of a foot wrong, but uh, he was with John, so I can't really give him the, uh, the the full seven that I gave the other two, or the eight that I gave Cook. Uh, Cook. Um, so, Spence at right wing back, I'll probably give Spence a... I'll give him a seven, got up quite well down that right-hand side, um, Got won the penalty... Um, was linking up quite well down that down that side was uh, a real problem for um, was it Norrington Davis? Yeah, really caused issues for him. So I'm, I'm going to give him a um, I'll give him a seven out of ten. Yates eight for me. I think he was really good in the middle of that park. Um, in quite a scrappy game, did well to. Um, I think he came away with that a yellow card. Yates, yep, that's right. Um, did really well in that aspect. Did really well to. Um, to sort of do to, to not go out with a yellow card, really disciplined from him and got his goal right at the end, which I think he was thoroughly, thoroughly deserving of. Uh, Garner for me, I'd probably say 6.57 for Garner. I think he got the assist for the goal, but other than that, the cross into the box weren't great. Was stupid at one point in the first half to give away uh, a yellow card and he just hoofed the ball. Um, uh, a free kick. I don't know why he did that, but you know, it was all right. Not his best game, but he was okay. Callback at left wing back, probably uh, similar to. I don't know, I gave him a seven actually. I think he was. He, he ran all game round. He was tireless um, when he was on the pitch. He, he was quite. You know, he dealt well with their threat down there, right hand side, and, and put in a really good, strong performance. Um, his work rate was fantastic, so I'm going to give him a seven. Uh, Zinkenagel for me, seven again. He probably could have got a bit higher if he'd stayed on longer and if he'd converted um, the chances or two that he'd had. One moment for me that that sticks out for for his performance. Um, Sheffield United won a, a counter attack and he stormed the pitch. Like he went absolutely mental and just flew up the pitch and made an amazing last challenge. That if he'd got it wrong, it would have been a, a blatant red card. But it was absolutely fantastic. Just bombed up the pitch and um, yeah really uh, made that tackle and it was huge in that uh, had a good chance at 1-0 down I think it was uh, but shot into the side netting um, but yeah I think 7 for him um, it, it could have got higher if, if he'd stayed on longer but I, I'd say 6.57 for Zinkan Argo um, Johnson for me 6.5 he was good before the penalty missed the penalty then went a bit quiet real shame but like Cooper mentioned in the interview um, it will only build him up only make him stronger um, so he should be okay but um, a real shame in terms of um, the, the drop performance but um, you know hopefully he'll learn from that and he'll come back stronger than ever um, and Davis for me a 9 would have been a 10 out of 10 if he'd scored a goal he's so so good on the ball he can hold the ball up, but technically with the ball at his feet, he can sort of flick it round defenders. He's got the ability to just to do something that can help bring the whole team forward. Um, he brings other players into play. He's just so, so good. And I think he's everything that we expected sort of Lyle Taylor to be. A hold-up striker who can also get in behind and know where the back of the net is. Um, brilliant today again some of the stuff he did up against their centre-backs who, to be fair, their centre-backs were immense. Um, made it so difficult for us to um, make any, you know, decisive chances, really, uh, other than the goal. Um, you know, I think he was excellent today. Thoroughly deserved to be um, named Battle of the Match, and, and he was just absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Would have been 10 out of 10 if he'd scored that goal. Just the way he was able to bring the rest of the team up by holding it up or sort of um, flicking it round the defender or something like that. It was, yeah, brilliant for him today. Uh, in terms of the substitutes, um, Surridge came on, very lively, looked very, very lively. Um, he was just hounding their defence as soon as he came on. He was running at the goalkeeper, running at the defence. A bit hard to really give him much of a rating, but I'll give him a 6.5. Uh, 
I mean, Joe Lolly came on for about one minute of regulation time and then the um, five minutes added on. I can't really give him too much. Didn't do too badly. I'll give him a standard six. And same for Myton. Came on with about five minutes to go. Um, he, uh, yeah, came with about five minutes to go and then obviously the five minutes plus added time. And, um, yeah, he was, he was, he was okay. He didn't really see too much of him. But, yeah, I think overall, you look at that and you're going to take the point. I think it's a big point for um, the context of the season. Um a big point in terms of the fact we played against a team who hadn't conceded at home at all this season. Um, well, not since uh, Heckenbottom came in, which um, was was sort of um, Halloween time. So yeah, really pleased with that. I think three points is obviously ideal and what you want, but you'll take that. You'll take that. I think. Um, so yeah. Let us know down below in the comment section what you thought of the result, what you thought of the game, who your man of the match was. Mine was Keenan Davis, as he was giving it on Matt, on uh, Sky Sports. Um, comment down below that sort of stuff. Uh, like this video if you have enjoyed this um, content, you're enjoying what you see on the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already, and come on, you Reds.